Professor Amitabh Kundu, Chairperson, Technical Advisory Committee on Housing Startup Index at RBI and Committee to Estimate Shortage of Affordable Housing Government of India. Sir, thank you very much for joining us with us. The migrant workers who have lived in the city, who have to stop here, 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 who have to sustain here, सरकार के ऊपर ये बड़ी जिम्मेदारी है लेकिन ये एक बड़ा खर्च भी है क्या हमारे देश हमारी सरकार के पास इतने फंड्स हैं कि इस वक्त उनको यहाँ रखना उनको खिलाना आसानी से लंबे वक्त के लिए हो सके देखिए सबसे पहले मैं ये कहना चाहूंगा कि लॉकडाउन जो है ये रीजनेबली सक्सेसफुल है फॉर द अपर एंड द मिडिल क्लास क्योंकि उन वहां पर सिविल सर्विलेंस भी बढ़ा हुआ है कम्युनिटी सर्विलेंस है जो often invasive bhi hai to some extent it is eating into the privacy lekin nishit roop se ye middle class and upper class ke liye bhoat successful hai lekin lockdown se social distancing slum area mein aur migrant worker ke liye nishit roop se nahi badha hai hum jantay hai ki slums mein kam se kam 35 pradishat loog aise hai jo ek kamre mein rehte hai ek kamre mein char loog hai और उस स्लम में वो अभी लॉकडाउन की वजह से स्लम से बाहर नहीं जा पा रहे हैं 25 प्रतिशत लोग जो हैं वो टॉयलेट के लिए या पानी के लिए बाहर जाना पड़ता है तो लॉकडाउन का उनके लिए कोई मतलब नहीं निकलता और जो जहां तक माइग्रेंट वर्कर का सवाल है स्पेसिफिकली आपने पूछा उसके फिगर्स अभी हमने एस्टिमेट किया है कम से कम सत्तर पचहत्तर मिलियन माइग्रेंट वर्कर्स में से अगर वो वर्कर को देखें जो अनऑर्गेनाइज इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर में है जो कैजुअल एम्प्लॉयमेंट में है या जो सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट में है जो रेडी में यू नो बेच रहा है उनके हालात मैं समझता हूं कि 20 मिलियन वर्कर्स ऐसे हैं जो खतरे में हैं उनकी नौकरियां या तो चली गई हैं या जाने वाली हैं और लार्ज नंबर ऑफ देम दे वुड लाइक टू गो बैक टू देर स्टेट एंड आई थिंक वी हैव नॉट हैंडल दैट प्रॉपरली वी हैव अलाउड देम टू वॉक और ट्रैवल बाय मींस व्हिच आर वेरी वेरी अनहाइजेनिक मुझे ये लग रहा है कि ये लॉकडाउन के पीरियड के बाद में हम आइडेंटिफाई करना चाहें कि जो वॉलरबल हॉटस्पॉट क्या है मुझे लगता है स्लम्स एक हॉटस्पॉट होंगे और रिमोट विलेजेस में कुछ ऐसे निकल के आएंगे जो हॉटस्पॉट होंगे जिसको हैंडल करना हमारे लिए मुश्किल होगा मुझे लगता है हमारा ध्यान जो है अब इन अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर एंड माइग्रेंट वर्कर पर हमें देना बहुत जरूरी है I think that's a very good point, uh, Professor Kundu. In fact, migrant workers are like another India. I mean, they're existent, but they're hardly recognized. We find that 20 million people in this country don't have the right to vote. Most of them are migrant workers, and they just uh, uh, lose out on the fundamental right. And uh, that's not, that's just an indicator of how marginalized these people are. So what can be done to bring them more under the social welfare of this country. In fact, I was looking at some of the statistics which are available with regard to the effectiveness of the state government's programs in Delhi and also the central government programs. There is an NGO, I think, uh, Jan Sahas. I do not know their sample size, whether it is adequate or not. But certainly it shows that not more than 55% of the migrant have access to the food and of course the food is not the only thing as Ravi was just now mentioning and think about the you know unhygienic condition that they're living and many of them may like to go back and it's not possible I, I personally believe and yesterday as a so part what, of so my what is the solution for this what we is try the to provide what is the solution you're in affordable housing I, I personally believe no, in, in fact, that's a long-term strategy that we have to, our program for housing for the poor have not been targeted well. We have, uh, we thought that we will really go to the economically weaker sections and the poor, but we have somehow Prime Minister's Awas Yojana picked up the middle class and, you know, tried to really see that the program becomes successful, missing the target. But I think the first concern should be that when they are going back to the rural areas, they are kept there in some kind of different categories of uh, units. I am chairman of an NGO and we have suggested that they should talk to the uh, village panchayats and try to see all those who are arriving. Firstly, they should be kept in different rooms so that those who are really showing some symptoms, they should be kept separate and then they should be treated with love, affection and long-term program would be, of course, for employment. 
And I personally believe that the migrants present uh, way of handling is not enough. They should have been given some time for them to go back, those who wanted to. And presently, many of the state governments have the program of giving food and health. But in addition to that, the money that was to be given are not reaching. And most of the statistics that I have from the civil society organizations show that not more than 50 to 55 percent are having access to Very that. Tragic. And rest of them are really fending for themselves. And that is, uh, we have also suggested that there should be interstate movement. They should start in a sanitized, safe manner. The train compartments can take them in, mm -hmm. you know, not accommodating more than 15, 20 people in a compartment. Similarly, within the cities also, the movement of the unorganized worker, you know, they are cycling, they are walking to the places of Mondays and for the essential services. The unorganized sector is playing a critical role even for the essential services. But then right. within the city transport has to be facilitated. I think the uh, metros and the public buses have to operate with safety uh, provisions. The auto wallas can be also given some kind of a permit because a complete lockdown for the poorer sections really means less of social distancing, more of social proximity, and certainly they are fending for themselves. They Good might point. become the very, real very... hotspot hmm. for the next stage.